and welcome back to Lantern Creek Farm. All right, guys, as you seen in that little clip right there, we are seed saving today. We've got our beans picked. Um, I like to, we prefer to dry our uh, beans on the vine and then take the bean seeds out. And so um, I went ahead and picked them today, and our little dog needs to go out, so he's fidgeting. Um, I went ahead and picked the beans uh, today dried and then uh, we're going to go through and we're going to bust these open. All right guys so the beans that we picked today are the white greasy beans or white greasy back beans. We call them white greasy beans. I don't really know what the uh, technical term for them is. We've got these white ones and then we have what we call the cut short greasies. And they are a, brain, uh, a brown seed, but these are a white seed. And so I've got to get some seed for us because we are completely out. If, if not out, we are very, very low. And so, um, I, as you can tell, I probably had one more good picking left um, to pick these beans. Um, but instead of picking them, I went ahead and saved them um, and let them dry out for seed. I've got to give, uh, get us some seed, and I've also got to get my father-in-law some seed. And so we're going to um, get these busted open and uh, save them. Okay, guys, I've got one of these little, I don't know what you would call this. It's like a little, I don't know what the material is. Maybe like a cottony material. It's real breathable. You can see my hand through it. It's got this little bite, uh, thing on it. I'm going to put them down in here. Uh, my father-in-law gave this gave these to us and we've used them for about everything but uh it'd be perfect for seeds um i usually put my seeds in a um like a paper bag or like an envelope um but we are running short on those and so i'm going to use this bag and it'll work out just fine so let me show you how we do this all right guys we've got our little mesh bag that we're going to put our seeds in but first um we're going to bust these seeds out of the shells and so these are bean seeds like I said or I think I said and uh, after they're dried out they're uh, pretty easy to get the seed out of them you kind of just push kind of crack it like you would a nut and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour it into a separate bowl here and we're going to make sure we get all the beans out of the shells and just continue to work through here. So, crack it, pull it open, make sure our bean seeds are out. All these bean seeds look pretty good size, they all look, look nice, um, healthy beans. I've got one here that's got like a little bug hole in it, I think. It probably ate the heart out of it, maybe. We're just going to put it in there for now, though. While we're sitting here cracking beans, y'all leave a comment down below and tell me um, how you all save your beans or um what uh or what seeds you save this year or if you just buy your seeds um we try to um grow as many heirloom breeds as we can um as possible um that way we can do stuff like saving our seeds um these bean seeds actually have a really special story. We had um, grew a garden as a young couple for like years. Um, we started growing a garden, I guess around the time that Lakin was two. 
Um, if you watched my, um, sorry my head's cut out, guys. If you watched, let me move you up a little bit. Is that better? <laughs> if you watched my, uh, fodder shock video, um, you probably know, uh, like I said in the video, that I wanted to be a florist. Um, I went to college not to be a florist, but to be, well, kind of to be a florist. I actually went to college in, uh, for business management. Ugh, beans are going everywhere. The dog's picking them up, though. So. I went to college for business management and um, with the intentions of owning a floral shop. Funny story, I never did that. I never did um, have a floral shop, but I've had... Uh, other businesses just not that one well carrying on into the story here I have a love for plants and um, and flowers and such and so does my husband and we like to grow things um, just always have um, I didn't grow up with my parents having a garden we always lived in town and um, we just never really grew garden vegetables or anything like that. Um, but my husband, um, his family did. And so we, uh, anyways, fast forward. Just all that to say that me and my husband both love gardening. Uh, fast forward a few years later. Um, met my husband. We got married. We had our little girl. And when she was about two, we uh, started growing a garden of our own. And a few years after that, it was garden season, was going into garden season. And there's an older couple, older gentleman that lives up the road. And my husband was doing some work for him. And they got to talking about gardens. And he was like, well, I have these beans. And I don't really know exactly how the, you know, the conversation went. But he gave us these beans. And he told us that they were just greasy beans, is what he called them. Um, and so we planted them. And we had grown green beans like uh, Roma beans or Kentucky Wonders or Tenderettes and stuff like that in the previous years but he said I've got these bean seeds they're a climbing bean and um, you know he gave a seed and they were older seed and I think that even the story went that he didn't even know if they would actually grow because they were older seeds well we planted them and since then they've been my all-time favorite heirloom bean seed um, and so, some years we grew them, some years we didn't. This year, we decided we were going to grow two types of bean here at our, at our, uh, at our small garden, not our farm garden, but our, at our small garden. And one of those is the turkey crawl bean, which is my husband's favorite, which is an heirloom bean. And the next one was uh, this, which we call the white greasy bean. Um, now, our beans didn't do very good this year at the farm or here. We only got um, a couple pickings um, out of our uh, our green beans here at the house. And that was because I wanted to make sure that we had seed because we were out of both this seed and uh, the turkey cross. We were either low or out of both. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we had enough for seed. Um, and so we didn't get many pickings out of it um, and so anywho that is the story of the white greasy bean there's probably a name for it I'm gonna guess kind of like the cut short greasies um, which are the the brown bean but that's our story for the white greasy bean and so these are literally my all-time favorite bean that I've ever that we've ever grown and that I've ever tasted they have such a strong um, green bean flavor so 
these aren't like a like a tender red or like a even like a Roma bean. I, we grow Roma beans, but and they're and they're good to can. Roma beans are, but they're they're not my favorite tasting beans. But if you like a real strong flavorful taste of bean, I recommend uh, the greasy back beans. Um, and even out of our brown greasy beans, which is the cut short greasies and these, um, I like them both a lot. Um, they're both greasy beans, but these, for whatever reason, are my all-time favorite. And so, uh, we are going to save our seed up for these. Um, that way we have some <laughs> to plant um, for next year. Now, there's different ways to store seed. Um, a lot of people put them in the freezer. Um, there's just so many different ways that people save seed. Um, we don't do nothing special. Um, I actually probably do the opposite of what they tell you to do to save seed, um, but it's always worked for us. I have a wood box on top of my refrigerator and it is full of all our seeds, um, all the seeds that we save back. And so, more likely than not, this will probably go in the bag and probably go in that box on top of the refrigerator until um, we need them. And so, we don't, like I said, we don't do anything special uh, for our seeds. Um, we just put them in a bag or, or an envelope and put them up top. Well. I'm going to quit talking here, and we're just going to do some, uh, some bean breaking. But I wanted to kind of give you all a story of where these bean seeds come from and why they're kind of special to us. So we're making our way through the bowl. We're getting there. We've got a few more beans to go. Mr. Ollie's getting every bean I drop. He's in bean heaven. I've got I've gone through some of these. There's a few pods in there, but I it got so full of the the dry pods that I couldn't really see where my full pods were. Or the open pods, so I couldn't really see where my full pods were, so I had to start doing it on the table. We're getting through it, though. That should be enough seed for for us for a while. And of course, we can give some seed away as well. We're going to make it through, slowly but surely. Alright guys, we made it. If I miss some, I'm just going to let them go by. Now something I wanted to show you all. So, let's see. Can you all see that that one... Sorry y'all, it's the evening and the light is bright. I have a lot of windows in my kitchen. Let's see if this will help. Can you all see that this bean is kind of discolored? I hope you can. I don't know how to make it more visible here. Okay, can you see that now? There's a black spot. I don't want to put those beans in here. I want to put beans in here that um, are, see, this pod here had discolored beans. Let me see. There we go. It had discolored beans in it. And so we don't want to put those in here. We want to put the beans that uh, look fairly healthy and healthy. We don't want to put anything in there that's got anything on it. Also, I wanted to show you, this is a seed from um, a green bean. A bean that was green when it was picked. This is a seed from the dried beans. So I hope you can see it, but there's a significant differ difference in size. 
there's the green bean this is the dried bean we want to make sure that we're putting dried beans in here unless you plan on laying them out to dry um there was a few beans in here that i had picked that were that were still green and i was gonna just put them in here and let them dry but then i thought why even take the time to do that for just like a handful of beans here um there's plenty here uh for for us to have and to for us to give away and so we are going to um that one's a wonky color bean we are going to um just use the dried beans so i've got my bag here and i'm gonna probably put this in a glass maybe and uh, then pour the beans down in here all right guys i found this cup here i'm hoping it's kind of eh, it's wide at the top let's just see if we can make this work Okay, well, a few went everywhere, but that's not too bad. And then we take the beans that are in the bottom of the cup and pour them in here. I don't want to close this bag. I'm going to leave it in this bowl and let them air out uh, for a little bit. I'm going to grab the beans that dropped. Sounds like our little dog got a hold of them before I did. It wasn't many. And we're going to take this, leave it open, and let them dry out. All right, guys, we've got our little beans here. I'm going to go ahead and mark these. Um, but like I said, we want to leave them open uh, to dry. But I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all hanging out. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.